Assalamualaikum and good morning to everyone. My name is Masri Zambi Muridan. My metric number is 194857. Today, I want to present about the industrial training at SR Environment Syndrome Bahad. The introduction is uh, the company is an environmental consultancy firm uh, that provide affordable solution of environmental issue. Uh, and then the service that are offered by company is including consultancy, uh, laboratory, technology and geospatial. So the objective is to develop skill and technique directly applicable to their careers and to develop spirit of teamwork, to expose and familiarize to rules and regulation including safety practice in industrial environment, uh, to develop interpersonal relationship with scholars in working environment and also to build a good communication skill. So the objective of the industrial training report is to improving the knowledge and skill in writing uh, to ensure always on time uh, in preparing the report and also the document or activity that has been carried out during the period of industry training for six months. The company information is uh, SRE is an environmental consultancy firm. Uh, this is uh, established in 2018. Uh, so the previous known as a Nakatek. So the SRE environment sedang bahad place at uh, Jalan Pulai Perdana. 11 stroke 1, Skudai, Malaysia and the company which is led by Mr. Sharul Rizal and also have 7 team members. The vision is to create sustainable grid and a and natural environment that protect the water we drink, the air we breathe and the earth which we live. So the mission is our multidisciplinary approach, the application of innovative and environmentally sound solutions enables any size uh, and the tagline we make your business better than others. So the reason why I selected the company is this is because have all requirement for internship student placed as student environmental management because this company have environmental scope such as uh, environmental monitoring, environmental consultant, technology and geospatial. So the product and the service is the first uh, environmental consultancy have a EIA, EMP, EMR, ECA and also written and declaration with DOE and the secondly is environmental monitoring for water, marine water, ambient air, noise level and effluent and or sewage discharge quality. And the third is technology uh, using online monitoring system and in-situ monitoring device. And lastly is geospatial, uh, have a GIS with web-based GIS and also light detection and ringing. So this is an uh, organization chart uh, for SRE. So lead by uh, Encik Syarul Rizal bin Abdul Rahman and also have uh, administration environmental consultancy and also environmental laboratory. So for me, uh, I'm uh, stay at the environmental laboratory to uh, make uh, some monitoring for projects. So this is uh, my internship description. The role uh, to assist junior environmental executive for monitoring water quality, uh, ambient air and noise level, and then preparing the equipment before going monitoring at the site project. and updated the result of environmental monitoring report every month and the lastly extract the data processing for point of interest by grad project. So the task, the task is the firstly uh, we are going, uh, I'm going to water quality monitoring. So have a um, uh, measure, measurement of water including both marines and fresh water. The parameter is also like pH, temperature, salinity, conductivity, dissolved oxygen and turbidity and the chemical also, the chemical parameter like BOD, COD uh, and AN and also uh, TSS. So the water sampler uh, uh, using by water samplers and the TSS portable and help turbidity to at the in-situ monitoring. So the water sampler are collected and stored in two liter bottles uh, that must remain clean and outside at all times. And the bottle we are to be keep in 2000 in cooler in cooler box within 24 hours uh, before we are going to the lab. So this is uh, the picture show the equipment for the sampling water. So the secondly is ambient air quality monitoring. Uh, we are we are using the minimal tactical air sampler. It's a portable ambient air sampler that may be used to monitor ambient air quality. Before running a 24-hour sample session, general procedure involves measuring the beginning weight of filter paper on, a, on an analytical scale. And then the filter paper will be uh, equilibrated under the same environment again and measure 
for its final weight of the sample session. So, there are three types of parameter used including uh, total suspended particulate, particulate matter 10 micron and particulate matter 2.5 micron. So, the result will be compared to uh, Malaysian ambient air quality guideline. So, this is the firstly is show the equipment, uh, the minimal tactical air. Uh, and then uh, the second picture is uh, filter paper. Uh, at, uh, filter paper uh, we are using at the site. So, the third is uh, noise boundary monitoring. We are using uh, Pulsar sound level meter and uh, Svantec sound level meter to measure the noise level. And the sampler period is set to 12 hours for both day and night to record the leg and Limax parameter in DBA. So, uh, the data has been downloaded and analyzed for L10 and L19 parameters. And this is uh, the picture show the uh, equipment uh, like Pulsar and Svantex. So next, uh, the internship experience. The first project is expansion of Tanjung Lansat. Uh, we are going uh, to Tanjung Lansat port to monitoring water quality uh, and then uh, using the uh, using the equipment like TSS. Uh, so the turbidity was measured at four different points surrounding certain and the area where operation took place. And the water sampler was used to collect water samples at six designated station. So the secondly is project bridge construction Batu Pahat. <coughs> a medium-sized pile attached with a rope was used to collect water sampler from the river. So this uh, water sampler were collected at three different selected points before we uh, sent to lab to laboratory for analysis. So this is a uh, project bridge construction at Batu Pahat. So this is very uh, hard to uh, collect the data because uh, the, situ the, the situation at the project is very difficult. So the next is project uh, for land reclamation in Lido development. So the environmental including water and quality, ambient air and noise boundary. So one fixed point was set as uh, for ambient air quality and noise boundary sampling uh, taken at the same time for 24 hours. So water sampling was done at selected point uh, as water sampler are taken at middle deep and surface level. So the next is project water discharge uh, from RNF mall. So water discharge from the building was taken as sampler by using a pail and the water sampler were then uh, sent a lab for analysis. So next is project building construction in Sultana Hamina Hospital. So the industrial influence from nearby construction in HSA area was taken as sample uh, for water quality monitoring. Ambient air quality monitoring and noise boundary monitoring were also done for 24 hours period. So next is project construction in Bukit Pelali, Kota Tinggi. The water quality monitoring, ambient air quality monitoring and noise boundary monitoring were done. Uh, at its point uh, that have been selected around the construction area. So the next is project uh, for bridge construction in Kluang. The parameter for ambient air quality monitoring include TSP and PN10 and Svantec sound level meter was used for noise boundary monitoring and just only one point was set for the sampling activity. So the next is project bridge construction at Negeri Sembilan. Uh, Every month, we are monitoring the water quality, ambient air, and noise boundary. Uh, have a four four uh, site. For example, Cembong, Sungai Layang, Gemenci, and Jelebu at Negeri Sembilan. So the parameter for ambient air quality monitoring include PN10 and PN2.5. We are using to Svantec uh, for noise boundary monitoring. So every every site have a two point for water quality. So the conclusion is, for a period 24 weeks of industrial training, is more than enough in, in providing all the basic knowledge and skill required for a student to engage in working environment. And next, at the SRE, interns can relate the their environment management learning course that can be implemented at the job and task given. And also, especially subjects like environmental impact assessment, environmental monitoring plan, and environmental monitoring report. 
And the lastly, SR Environment Syndrome Berhad is a recommended company for future student of environmental management to do, to do the, their industrial training there. So thank you for uh, SR Environmental Syndrome Berhad uh, for accepting me as an internship student. So that's all. Thank you.